mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Monday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a sick and very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised in his words, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Is that awesome today? Is that great? Is that mighty? Is that majestic? That God promised to be with his children in every situation, in every circumstance, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the way. Welcome this afternoon. Welcome this afternoon to those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, on the street, with your phone, from your church. All right here, God bless you richly, sincerely, from my heart, beloved and friends. I a blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless your homes, God will bless your marriage, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, God will bless your business, He will bless you and give you promotion on the job and whatever you do it shall prosper. Yes, I release prosperity. Let me go in the further. I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, in every area of your life. I release that blessing today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand to you. Praise God. I cover all those children under the precious blood of Jesus. I see you under the blood. I build a hedge. I pray that God will mark you with the power of the blood today. You're sealed from the works of darkness. Yes, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft, oh, be a demonic forces, evil blights that come against your life. Remember, the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful and so powerful this day, my friends. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every feather and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, every spirit of witchcraft, who be a demonic forces, blacks, generational curses, where the first, second, third, or fourth generational curses that is against your life, I destroy under the precious blood. I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every feather, I break every evil and every work of darkness. Whom the song set free is free again. Let's give him a big hand. You are free today. You are free. You are free. You are free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where if you are watching from the United States of America, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of the world today, my friends, is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for salvation. My friends, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes, I heal. You are healed. We are healed. All of us are healed tonight. Yes, it is afternoon in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand to me. Father God, I pray right down deep in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips. Anoint my mortal man with, for, from clay. Anoint my lips. Anoint my body, my soul, my mental faculties, my thought processes. Heal my body from every virus, every germs, every sickness, every disease, every infirmities. Every evil and every work of darkness, as I minister your words today, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will deliver and set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Today, my friends, have you ever felt lonely 
I mean so lonely despite my friends. Yes, being in the midst of a lot of people, have we ever been so overwhelmed with fear this morning that the kind of crippling fear that makes you crawl and makes you dread it for your existence? Do you ever think that the battles are you fighting are unquenchable? You will never make a headway no matter how hard you try, my friends. Do you read we don't uh, any of these questions ever? All of them, maybe I don't ever even include some struggles this morning, this day, but they make you shiver and worry endlessly every time you have to remember them. Whatever it is you are going through today, my friends, ask God to tell, ask me to tell God, hang on there, my friends, is there, if it definitely come true for you, he will come to get you, my friends, he is asking you, for you to be courageous and trust that he can help you make every crooked place in your life straight today. He is saying, my friends, that he doesn't really care how to, to know how dry or how bad the city, the condition is. He is coming for you. But how about you to start by trusting God today, trusting him. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 to 4 tells us, you will keep him in perfect peace. Who mind is staying on you because he trusted in you. Trust in the Lord today, forever, for a year. The Lord, my friends, is everlasting strength. He's everlasting strength. Fear is the devil's plot to get you to the Have you ever noticed that when you are scared, it becomes more difficult to pray, my friends? At that time, are you at your lowest ends spiritually? And all you, you do continue to do is wallow in the situation instead of exercising the authority you as a child of God as you pray about your situation the fear of the situation creeps up on you and suddenly you find yourself not praying my friends not worrying going through the situation in your head over and over thinking thinking about the worst possible outcomes which you know for a fact that will never come true yet it increases your fear my friends the devil understands this so he continues to put fear in your heart, yes, my friends, just to weaken you spiritually. The book of John apparently captures what the devil intentions towards us as believers are, and how he never, he never has anything good in store for anyone. Yes, not even those who pray in allegiance to him today. John chapter 10, verse 10 tells us that the thief does not come except to steal, yes, and to kill, yes, and to destroy, my friends. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes, stealing, my friends, here has a deeper meaning of defaulting and defrauding one of the material possession or tangible items. It also connotes the thief of attracting things like joy, my friends, happiness, peace, and replacing them with fear worry, anxiety, and sorrow this day, my friends. So whatever you are scared and cannot express yourselves to go and prayers efficiently, it is the devil today, my friends, that is trying to plant fear in our hearts to empower us, yes, and get us this courage today. Be, my friends, be courageous, be courageous. We do not just need courage today to push through a challenge we are facing or push through each day successfully. We need courage, courage to walk our Christian journey successfully. My friends, it takes strength this day, my friends, and spiritual empowerment to walk and to hold on to the path that being laid before us till the end of the book. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13, encourages to watch, to watch and stand firm in the faith so that the whirlwind of this world will not blow us away. It says, my friends, watch, watch, stand fast, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be brave, be strong today, pray in your greatest, prayer is your greatest strength today. In, in a world that seems to have torn its back against God and manifesting the end time signs, my friends, pulling strength to serve God today on your own is impossible. We can't be courageous till the end without the help of the Holy Spirit. 
which I speak so much. The Holy Spirit is our comforter this day and our solace provider when the going gets tough, rough, and we can't find any reason to continue. The Holy Spirit doesn't just help us traverse the journey successfully. My friends, he makes it really enjoyable. Yes, and exciting also. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, If you call on me, call on me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not best way to encourage the Holy Spirit is through prayer. My friends, the best way we can communicate expressively and in, in on him there to the Father is through prayers to stay, my friends. Many great men who walk with God and effect a change in their, and their life in their generation were all men of prayer. Prayer, Jesus was a man of prayer. Even as a son of God, he consecrated this time of prayer and communion with his heavenly father from time to time when men pray. My friends, God listens. God listens. The Bible instructed us to pray without ceasing. For Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 tells us ceasing equal translate to be me always at all time. All the time when we pray, clarity comes. Comes, we receive, we receive illumination and we are refreshed and you to concentrate on what God will have us to do. My friends, today, Mark chapter 11, verse 22 tells us, uh, to 24, so Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God, as surely as I say, you whosoever say to this mountain, be removed and cast his foot into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he say will be done, my friends, have whatever he says, Whatever you say, therefore I say to you today, whatever things you ask when you pray today, believe that you receive them and you will, you will have them, my friends, through reading his word. Reading his word we buy books of bestseller authors because we have we have to a glance and insight in their minds. Yes, we want to include the philosophies, theories, and principles that work for them and place them on such an invaluable pedestal in life. This is also what studying God's word entails. God's word contains the mind of God himself and everything we need to do to follow and to do his will today when we read the word of God with that open and expectant mind, my friends, the Holy Spirit ministers to us and interprets the relevance of what scriptures for our profitability and when we do this, we continue to pull strength from God's will of infinite strength and continue to so those other soldier and hold on to God's love and promises. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows and is a disorder of the thoughts and intents, my friends of the heart today. God never forsake his own. The opponent of trusting in God is believing. He is he, he is who he is. And if you believe who he says, he is in the word of God, the Bible, you know that he, he is well able to intervene in your situation. He is a God that, that the winds and the waves obey. He is the CEO of the universe, my friends, and he is in control at all times. Yes, my friends, not happens without his approval or go ahead today. This all-powerful God is your heavenly Father. Today he is saying to you, God, today my child, I love you. I love you. Fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, I am with you in all the seasons of your life. Yes, through the good and the bad in summer and winter, nothing can separate you from me. He says, not can separate my love from you, but all you need to do is to have faith this day, my friends. Joshua 1 9 tells us, I have commanded you to be strong and be of good courage, and do not be afraid or dismay, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, wherever you are passing through turbulence times. It might be difficult to believe that God is in the situation, but He is my friend. Different thoughts continue to flash through our minds about how he even allowed 
awesome to go through something as horrifying as the first place. But God knows this morning, He knows why we're going through it. And He doesn't just know. He is with us, my friends, in that situation, ready to hold our hands. Yes, my friends, to see us too. We will trust Him this morning. Psalms 27, verse 40 tells us that we are the Lord, we on the Lord, be of good courage and be an he shall strengthen your heart. Yes, we on him. I say the day this day on the Lord. Yes, let's give him a big hand. We on the Lord. I urge you to be from God to be my friends. Fear is a powerful emotion. It can push a person into wrong actions or even freeze them into in inactions. Fear is a tool the devil uses against us uh, to make us miserable and destroy our lives. It begins as a thought and then creates uh, emotions uh, that can rule. It often becomes uh, a strong and intense uh, feeling. My friends, uh, at times you never want to make fun of someone who's afraid. It's very important to understand uh, what fear is and how it works against us uh, because if we don't, uh, it, can put, it can keep us up from creating a smile friends, it means we will fulfill things in our lives. This is the Bible. It is my opinion. I believe that the spirit of fear is the master spirit. The enemy used to manipulate people and keep them out of God's will. Simply, but fear is the opposite of faith. God wants us to walk by faith and Satan wants to walk by fear. Yes, when you learn to live by faith and not let fear rule over your lives, we can live a fulfilling, satisfied, satisfying and peaceful and joyful life in Jesus Christ. Fear can have a power effect on our thinking and decision making but as Christians we have been given the power to overcome it today. Therefore we must not entertain it. Everyone experiences fear in their lives. We are very aware of great fears and some little ones too. We may not even realize we have many of these things we fear it never happened to us, but even when they are, all our anxieties and worries generally have nothing to protect us, and absolutely nothing. The Bible does not maximize or travelize many of the things we fear. In fact, it reveals to us that the world will become more dangerous and frightening at the end of the age approaches. But my friends, we have an assurance that this help. We see the Bible reveals to us in Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I am the Lord thy God, I will hold thee right thy right hand. Say unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. We must know that fear is the number one weapon of the enemy. We must rec almost recognize the worst ways to defend ourselves against it. The Bible warns us that faith can, can hamper our faith and good. We must know that the sound mind is essential in living this Christian life, my friends. Right thinking leads to correct living. Right thinking leads to what is correct living, my friends. Having a sound mind is very important because we move, we make more decisions according to the perceptions and comprehension of the mind. Just like the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Also says in Second Timothy one seven that God had not given us. A, the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a song and besides your source to be faithful, not fearful. Faithfulness is the mother of faithfulness. We generally sinners will run, no one pursues, but the righteous is always as bold as a lion. Fear is a spirit and must be dealt with accordingly. It is it must be confronted with the best way of righteousness. The first step is to confront front of fear is to remember that those who fear sons and daughters we are being given this Holy Spirit that means we are not only on even with the faith, faith of death we need to remember remind ourselves of this fact that frequently if possible confess our words from the scripture when faced with fearful situation and do remember and the Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. With what a promise, what a wonderful God.
God and to know that through Him we can have assurance of peace during the times of uncertainty. Yes, I know that very even in a cause of uncertainty, He is our strength, He is our helper, He will uphold us, He is our God today. Yes, no matter what the years may throw at you, us, our God is with us this day. This is a good message to pick up today, my friends. And when we fear comes knocking in the presence of the all powerful God, and when from Psalms 91, God explained to us to be free from fear, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall not be afraid. From Psalms 91, we learn about what secret place that leads us to the secret place. Thank God for the security we have in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is powerful. Therefore, there is no cause to fear today. He is faithful and just to deliver us of all fears, situation, and fact that he is our lady. He is in 2 Timothy 7. He has made available to us that we need to conquer fear, power, love, and a soul mind. What we need, let's so briefly explain that he has given us power this morning. This is more, more, more evident. Acts 1 tells us that he shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon thee, and the Holy Spirit is within you today, my friends. Yes, the Holy Spirit. And if you're feeling if you're feeling sorry for yourself today, quit walking around with that spirit of fear. Quit walking around with that spirit of fear for God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind today. Let's give him a big hand. Yes, 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 God, in the spirit of Let God help you today and drive out those spirit of fear. Are you fearful in this day of death, my friends? Many are fearful today of death. Many are in the hospitals, sick unto death, and you're fearful today that you will die. But my friends, the man of God is here to tell today that you will not die but you will live no matter the situation the circumstances and what the doctors have said and what the devil has said today you will live and not die i know you're in the backstage right now and the doctors have given your family a bill and a report and says that you will not live you will die but the man of god is back here this afternoon to tell you that you will not die but you will live to full purpose and calling and destiny whatever you're sick today if you have the cancer i've eaten out your whole inside right now i can feel the burning of the holy spirit and if you feel the burning of the holy spirit god is healing you from that cancer he's burning all the cancer from your body and you will live and you will not die if you're suffering today with depression oppression frustration anxiety no spirit of anxiety depression oppression are living right now in the name of jesus if you have a migraine headache that is killing you you cannot function effectively on the job yes the, the, the migraine headache is killing you my friends you try all the tablets and all the painkiller and nothing is helping you today is your day for a miracle today is your day for healing today is your day for deliverance Let's give a big dying bed, your liver has switched up and the doctors told your relatives that you will not live but you will die. Today my friends I'm here to tell you once again you will not die but you will live. Many of you kidneys have shut down. Yes and you're waiting for a transplant and nobody's coming forward with that kidney. My friends you will not die. You will live. God will give you brand new kidneys. You say man of God what are you telling us today? I'm here to tell you that the God will form man of God and breathe in this nostril and make every part of your body will do a miracle just as I always say is the man who designed this watch and know every part of his functioning God who designed your body and make every every organ tissue and every part of your body he knows how it's functioning there is no big deal and no big thing for him to give you a brand new organ or a brand new tissue or heal you completely or take away those pains and ailments many are suffering with the arthritis practice pain over the joints in the fingers yes in the fingers the pain is so much on the knees and the elbows and the toes and every part of the joints you've tried all painkiller and all the 
your rubbings and nothing is helping. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for miracle. I see a woman who is pining away because you're suffering with diabetes. That's a sugar problem. God is touching your blood. God is cleansing your blood right now. God is healing your blood. You lose long lots of weight and you're pining away. Yes, God is touching your blood and he will restore your strength and you will be completely healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, God will restore your health and strength and you will not die but you will live in the name of Jesus to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. You will not die before your time. Yes, my friends, whatever is the ailment today, if you blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. Jesus took 39 stripes upon his back and there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in this world. He finished the work on Calvary. Yes, my friends, he took a stripe for each one of those sickness unto death and that's tell, that tells you that you will not die but you will live. God wants you to live and fulfill purpose but the devil wants to cut you off and today is your day for that miracle. Today is your day for that healing, and today is your day for the deliverance. I will be if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. Today, if you're suffering with a heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, if you have prostate cancer, what the case may be, if you're demon possessed and can't sleep in the night, today is your day for a miracle. I see demons are leaving people. Body right up in the name of Jesus. I command those demons to leave and to go and never return in the name of Jesus. Many, many are being healed from demonic forces of darkness. Those tormenting demons are leaving your body. They will not torment you any longer. Give your life to Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Be filled with the Spirit and let God work in your life. Today, my friends, is a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit. Where you watching from the USC, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of the world, you can hear my voice uh, today, my friends, I'm here to tell you that God is no respect of persons, there is no distance, there is no barrier, there is no limit of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, yes, and I'm going to send for the anointing right now, prepare to receive your miracle, prepare to receive your healing, prepare to receive from the hands of God, it is yours, do make the devil rob you of that by little feet or little feet as a grain of mustard seed and you should say to the mountains without remove and cast into the sea my friends what is your mountain is a sickness is it a financial problem is it a mental issue what is it today is your day right now as I said for the anointing you will be healed completely right now in the name of Jesus are you ready right now be Jesus, we set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every book of darkness. My friends, this is the power of God, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. You are healed, you're free from every sickness and pain and disease. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Yes, right in text with me. Yes, many are here today. Go back to the doctors. Let them check you. You are free completely. You are healed completely. Yes, I see a person with a, a, a tortured mind. Yes, you've run mad. God has, the doctors have given you a mad certificate. Yes, you have lose your mind. Yes, you have. But God has given you a brand new brain. He has touched you and healed you today. That mental sickness is gone. That mental disease is gone. That ailment that is plaguing the devil. Yes, wants to destroy your mind. God has given you sanity and a sound mind and a strong and healthy body. Let's give him a hand today for the work that is Yes, God loves you very much. He loves and cares and cares for you. And he is your healer today, my friends. It has been a great joy and privilege to be here this Monday afternoon to encourage you and bring the word of healing and faith and the word to minister into your life. God bless you richly. I love you greatly in the love of God. Do have a wonderful and sweet day. I'll see you tonight by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and great and wonderful name. Remain, keep your healing. God bless you richly. 
in Jesus' name, I release to peace and joy and love upon your life, in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, amen and amen. God bless you richly, in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, amen and amen.